Alright, here we're learning into Raid Shadow Legends. What I'm showing off here is the Ronda Chase. Basically, you log in for seven days, and on the seventh day, you have the option of fighting the Ronda Rousey character. Now, I'm pretty sure this has nothing to do with Ronda Rousey herself, uh, but, you know, I think a lot of us would probably piss ourselves before we'd even beat her if that was the case. Here, you can see I'm on collecting day three on my PC account, over on my mobile account, and I'll probably try to get some... Uh, content on that for you here in a future video I already have Rhonda and have her up to a nice level and I must say that she is pretty much a beast so let's go ahead and collect day three here and collect some of our other rewards and then I'll show you an example of leveling up armor and an example of a battle and that's going to do it for this short video and then I'll get content of uh, my mobile account going through and marking everything is red if it's not important like I said we're just collecting our treasures and uh, free items at this point Now right here we're going to go ahead and summon two more champions. First we're going to use the mystery shard. It will give us common, uncommon, or rare champions. Sometimes we get lucky. I got two star cultists. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Kind of looks like Marilyn Manson with a fetish. We're going to use our Ancient Shard next. That's usually more along the lines of just rare, epic, and legendary. You're almost more guaranteed to get a decent character here. <laughs> a, a, a Purgator. <laughs> that fits right in with GP. He's three stars, so that's a pretty decent champion right there. Now I'm going to show you uh, the armor and leveling up some of these characters Had a couple things to claim there, that's no, sorry. Let's take a look at our champions. Our current leader is right here. And we're gonna keep the three and two star characters along with us here. So we're working on green armor for our main character. Let's go to the glove here. We don't have no more green armor.
so we'll close back out for a minute and we'll start putting stuff on these people so we're going to try to save these really really high items here <clears throat> and these here are more likely going to end up being for Rhonda so We'll go back and refer to the Ronda chase real quick, just so we know what not to equip. And it's the purple gloves, boots, and chest plate. Alright, we got him equipped with some of these. Now we're going to show you how to upgrade the armor, which will essentially help upgrade him as well. I usually go to six. This upgrade one level is an automatic upgrade, so when it fails like that, I usually hit that button so it'll keep upgrading it until it succeeds. <coughs> go to the next piece of armor. And we're gonna upgrade this to level six too. and do the same for any of our other characters. Alright, let's upgrade our perjury, our purgator, excuse me guys. Oh, I'm sorry, we can't do that yet. I'm getting ahead of myself. Once we get the tavern, we can do so. So let's go to a battle.
the campaign map here. This is where we're going to get a bulk of our materials and armor and such for be able to do the competitions, clan battles, and specific events such as dungeons and uh, raid bosses. <coughs> still in the first level you can see that it's a heart rate here meaning that we're going to be getting armor that's going to be useful for regeneration purposes <coughs> we can only pick two characters at this time I'm going to switch her out for one of our newer characters also a three star and see how they do in battle I also like to throw my battles on auto. champion this one's a crusader badass looking but if we have to we may have to sacrifice him later in order to level up one of our stronger champions and I'll show you what that means here shortly let's go ahead and see if there's anything we've unlocked for this so far I think I ever went back to see if we could collect multiple pieces of armor, so let's test that theory out now, shall we? See, that's crazy. I'm surprised we didn't get the armor for that. Let's see.
my math is correct. It's just going to keep doing this one over and over and over again. That's pretty cool. Now we can get, like, grind out certain levels with that. Let's go check our champions here real quick. That's a pretty decent way to guarantee that you're gonna keep getting armor and such for your characters. Take my characters through a couple more battles here and then we'll uh, go ahead and call it a video because I think I'm running out of stuff to really show you guys right now. Once we get Rhonda, everything will be a little bit different. Oh look, we can do the tavern here. Okay, now I can show you what I wanted to show you earlier. 
This guy's coming up to level 5, so that's pretty good. We don't need to fuck with him no more. So we'll go to her. We'll hit the tavern. This is the tavern, the main place where you upgrade and improve your champions. You can sacrifice weaker champions to gain XP and level up quickly. Leveling up increases a champion's stats, making their skills even stronger. <coughs> Look, it's going to actually save me the trouble here. So, we don't really want to use any of our two-star champions and shit right now. They might be sacrificed later on. Maybe, maybe not. Our one-star dude, he's definitely going. And then we're going to go ahead and take some of these different potions with us, too. Oh, well, didn't want me to do it. Excuse me. Oh. I wonder why. Maybe that's for the example, I'm not sure, but usually I can select these. But I don't want to sacrifice any of these guys here. So. Oh, there it is. Um, again, we don't want to sacrifice them. She's our team leader. Until we get Rhonda, that is. And then we can add more to it. I pretty much just made her like level fucking 20. So now in turn we would want to go back and upgrade the rest of our characters appropriately. And since these guys are the ones we're going to be using to main originally, we'll start with her. Just need to get her about level 20. That's it. There we go. enough because again we're really not using him yet
instances. I got four of them shards now. So let's see what we get from summoning. kind of interesting. I can see some of these people being used as upgrades. For sure. Alright, let's back to what we were doing earlier. Sacrifice or lower level guys. You got him a little closer to twenty. Just keeping our two star or higher for now. I think we'll go ahead and favor it all of these for now. And that may change later. Alright, let's do uh one more campaign battle and see how the levels, the upgrades have done for our characters. Here we should be able to do three characters.
already been in the tavern, so they're a little late on that one. <laughs> Alright, let's see about at least beating the boss. I believe we are at the boss. So let's go ahead and fuck it on up. Having overcome the castle guard, the company leader called to mind how the banner lords had cried out their allegiance to their king, but also to Seroth.
Was the king's warring folly prompted by the will of the Lord of Darkness? Upon interrogation, a fallen knight confessed that the king had not been seen at the castle for many a month. His orders were being relayed by messenger from his encampment on the Eastern Front. <coughs> This meant only one thing. The company would have to pass through the war-torn city of Arnok. Alright, we got a war priest level 1, 3 star. That's going to come in handy. Let's see what we can do with her real quick before we can end the video. Or before we end the video, should I say. Got a lot of spoils here, too. It's going to come in handy for our champions. For those of you watching on Twitch, make sure you hit that follow and share button. It helps out more than you realize. Head on over to our YouTube main page. There you can find all of our edited videos. Thumbs up the ones you like, or there is that thumbs down option, but I do not recommend it. We have that guy over in the UK named Corvus who likes to cut a bitch. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, flicker ding dong, so that way you don't miss out on more kick ass content from me and the Gamers Purgatory crew. And until our next video or podcast, I will see you. Oh shit, what up? <laughs> what? 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 What?